Tourism Hub podcast, the podcast devoted to you, the experience makers of the wonderful tourism industry. Now today, before we head into things, I wanted to let you know because I'm so excited that Tourism Hub podcast has a home and it's instituteofexcellence.com. So very excited to have past episodes, this particular episode and all future episodes will be housed at instituteofexcellence.com forward slash podcast. Yay, hip hip hooray. Uh, that is uh, some, that, that did take some time and I will, I do have an episode lined up to share the experience of developing a website and particularly share some challenges and insights around what I learned and what I could share for any of you out there that are looking to either upgrade or find a you know, new website design and love for your business. But enough about that. Uh, we'll head straight into this awesome interview I, I did uh, recently that I'd love to share with you now with a caveat and a warning that there is some background noise because it was done at a cafe. But regardless, the content and the guest is so super, super awesome that you will not even notice. So let's get straight into things of the Tourism Hub Podcast Episode 3. Enjoy. Relax. Hello and welcome to Tourism Hub, the podcast for the experience makers of our industry. Today I have such a wonderful special guest to join me on the podcast. His name is Mike James and Mike is the founder, owner, passionate experience maker behind Better Mobile Photos. We are doing something a little bit different today and capturing our very first meeting here in Geelong at Go Cafe. So there is a back, little bit of background noise, but you're really encapsulating a first meeting of like-minded minds, um, getting together and sharing our, uh, our journeys and most importantly, how we can help each other. So a little bit about Mike, he has a combined 20 years of experience in photography and mentoring to become one of the most sought after smartphone photography training specialists. Don't you love that? When we talk about niches, he's not only specialising in teaching people how to do good photography, he is teaching us how to use really good smartphone photography, which is so, so important for the busy entrepreneur and busy tour operator and busy business uh, in any industry really to be able to capture content uh, on the fly that's actually really good quality. So can't wait to hear more about Mike. So I can, I've got so much here to share in his bio, but I have him right here. So we'll get straight into it. Welcome, Mike. Thank you for agreeing to do this with me. You're welcome. This will uh, be great fun. Excellent. So let's just, uh, please, I'm so curious about Better Mobile Photos and, uh, and how you came to be. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite an interesting, um, unique business. Uh, I had a few business ideas that I wanted to pursue, but this was one that uh, after an experience that I had, it was just that I had an aha moment and just got straight into it. Your aha moment. Tell us about that. Where were you? What happened? Set the scene for that aha moment. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so uh, I was at the aquarium uh, a year and a half ago with my family, and while I was there, I had my expensive ten thousand dollar SLR. I had it on a monopod, trying to be a bit discreet, not getting in the way of everybody, and I was just absolutely blown away by people with their smartphones reaching across in front of me, taking photos in this low light environment of inside the aquarium, where I was struggling to try and get the settings right, fussing over my camera. And they were just tapping the screen and taking these amazing photos. And, and that was kind of the, the moment where I thought, you know what, this, uh, this prejudice that I've got towards mobile phones and the cameras, I'm, I'm going to have to look into this because it was just so easy, it was. Like, I was annoying my family with my big camera there, <laughs> making a bit of a scene, but I was just couldn't believe how far the technology had come. So that was when I kind of thought, OK, I'll spend some time looking at this now. Yeah, yeah. So... That is such an important thing, and I can relate to that, especially with kids. 
getting that big camera is just such it's like almost like you've got another child with you <laughs> it's such a big it can be convenient wow that's a that so your background was in photography and that's something um i guess you've seen the change in the technology of the power that these little devices can have it's not just something that we say that they produce good quality the technicality that you can understand behind them they actually are yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, my experience has always been in SLR photography, and it's been a tool of the trade. And I've delivered hundreds of workshops showing people all the technical side of an SLR and how to really get the most out of the camera. And my audience, most of the time, they're there because it's a tool of the trade, and they have to be there. And and it's not a convenience thing. It's you've got the time to set up. And I think that's what was missing um, with the mobile photography is that you don't have all that time to set up. You, you, the, the experience, the opportunity, it's a fleeting moment and you don't have time to get out the camera. And I know for myself, I had access to the latest and greatest camera gear and I only brought it out on special occasions, I did. So I don't have, it's, it's ironic, I had the best equipment but I had the fewest amount of photos out of anyone, anyone I knew because it was just, whenever I pulled it out, I was in work mode and, and it was just, it was too hard. Uh, but now with the mobile phone, after I'd made that transition, because now I'm, I'm a mobile phone purist now, I don't use the SLR at all. And the reason I do that is because it's always there, it's always with me. And I'm one of these people that didn't get the creative gene with photography. I'm very technical, I'm a problem solver, I'm logical. And my dad had the creative gene, my sister's got it, I just missed me. And when I started using the mobile for the phone for photography, I discovered that I was taking photos every day and I was looking for things as simple as just textures on bricks and things like that. And all these things were starting to excite me. And taking photos of just everyday items, I just, it just opened up a whole new world for me. It did. And uh, I couldn't do that with the, with the SLR. So that, that's why I love mobile photography. It's there. You can get creative. You can capture those experiences. Uh, yeah. If you could see the way Mike's eyes are lighting up as he's talking, this is one of the coolest experiences for me doing this live in-person uh, podcast that he's oozing with passion for this and it's getting me excited. <laughs> um, so I want to go back to starting your business now for a lot of us uh, that have gone and are still going through the same journey or aspiring to start a business or um, you mentioned the word you know some challenging times and that you know still trying to figure it out and uh, I think no matter how many years you've been in business uh, it is an ever-changing environment something to keep us on our toes I guess take us to a moment that you could sit a, one of the most challenging times throughout this journey in really getting this going yeah I think one of the most challenging things I had was actually the basics which is <laughs> which is not very good is it <laughs> but uh, I spent I spent six months putting together a business plan for another idea that I had and produced this 8,000 word document and in the end I, I just didn't have the passion for it and I just I just dragged my feet and when I had that moment at the aquarium within three weeks I had my business name registered I had a workshop listed I had attendees coming and a month later I had a, a live workshop with real people there so I'm out there and I'm doing that but uh, one of the things I've struggled with is okay what's the business model around this how do I actually how is, is this feasible? Yeah, so I struggled with the real basics because I was out there doing the things that I that I really enjoyed and it was great fun. And to be honest, I'm still still working through that. And one of the things I think holds you back is, is your comfort zone. And and I was in my comfort zone. And now that I'm I'm out there, and because I'm an introvert, and here I am on a podcast. <laughs> you know? So so the idea of me actually running workshops in person as well was a bit of a, out of my comfort zone. But I knew that was the way to get out there and actually help people uh, get out there and, and taking photos. One of the things that you struggle with is that because you're on your own, you don't, you don't know what you don't know. So I knew I had to get a business plan. Uh, that 8,000 word document, I was like, oh, I can't do that again. But I knew I had to do marketing. Uh, you've got to wear all these hats when you're a small business owner. And I, you go on the internet and it's just completely overwhelming because 
things like email marketing systems. You've got so many options out there of platforms and that sort of thing. So, and I went and I attended business breakfast and networking things, and I wasn't really getting what I wanted out of that as well. So then I, I just kind of put my feelers out there and, and found some people that uh, were like-minded. And so we've started some um, mastermind groups now, and it's peer-to-peer support, that is. So now we're a kind of... We each turn up and we share successes that we've had, problems we're facing, tools, that sort of thing. But just getting out there and speaking to other business owners, it's just it's really helping me find my clarity now and, 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 and planning what I'm going to do and how I want to t- take this forward. So, yeah, that's that's been one of my struggles is the isolation, being on my own. But the way, to, I think, to get around that is just get out of your comfort zone, get out there and meet people. And if you're an introvert, just fake it till you make it. <laughs> <laughs> fake it till you make it fake it till you become it yeah I am um, I it's um it's so important I think looking back over the years and many different roles I've played to it's always just tapping someone on the shoulder say can we share a coffee I'd love to seek your advice your opinion uh, peer-to-peer support uh, it's so important and I love I can see you're actively so engaged in your local community too which is uh, really fabulous and important i'd love to know more about your the format of your workshops i know since i've introduced you to the your tourism excellence group i've had about three people come to me and say oh there, there's someone that does you know mobile is that right like is that someone you know and i've been um yeah so if you could share with us how do these work and how often they run and how someone can engage in your in your services great yeah so the workshops uh, that i run i run them in geelong and melbourne and at this stage i just run w- one a month in melbourne and in in uh, geelong and the format is is that i show people what it is that makes a wow photo what is it that because we live in a mobile scrolling world and facebook instagram uh, pinterest all these things and there'll be more to come and i know you love your quotes this is one. <laughs> this is this is one of my own. Uh, I'm sure I've I'm sure I've heard it somewhere, but I'll take it because I <laughs> I can't find it again. <laughs> but it's never been easy to take a bad photo, and I think that is the real what I'm out there trying to do. Because when I first came up with this concept of getting out there and helping people with this device, is that people are satisfied with the ease of use and they take a photo and bang it's you don't need to know any of the technical stuff behind it it just does it and it's just amazing how it just does it but it doesn't our cameras don't come with a manual so the first thing i do is i show you some quick tips and techniques and there's a lot of hidden features within our phones that we can use things like uh, using the shutter minus button to actually capture the photo you don't have to tap that screen to take the photo you can use that Um, so there's lots of little tips like that but it also it doesn't tell you how to set up the photo it doesn't tell you how to capture the moment capture the experience because there's quite a difference between a snapshot and a created photo there is so that's what i I go through that first we talk about how to set up a photo what to photograph uh, and that goes throughout half the workshop and then we go into a cafe grab a coffee and i show them the photo editing apps and that's where it gets really exciting Uh, there's one that i show everyone called snapseed it's a free app by google so you know it's well supported and it's just it's just mind blowing what you can do. It really is. And uh, yeah, I've got lo- get lots of oohs and ahs when I show them things. So you can you can take people out of photos and everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's it's great fun. And also I I now have a free online course which covers most of the content that I cover in that. So I understand that not everybody is in Geelong and Melbourne can't make it to those. And I wanted to get out there and and help people beyond the local geographic area so that free course is available as well which covers a lot of those topics it does great so and where can we find your free online course and your dates and workshops is that's on better yeah yeah that's on bettermobilephotos.com.au forward slash free course that's where you can access the free course and the and on that home page just bettermobilephotos.com.au you'll see the the workshop dates there but there's also a ton of t- tutorials and lots of information there as well to get you started you are going to do very well in your business because you're a giver so we're going to do a bit of an excellence round with you so there's just some questions i want to ask you when you think back 
uh, on starting, so you had your aha moment. What were some things that were holding you back from actually getting going? Uh, I think it was that, that comfort zone I've, I've touched on, uh, but also not knowing whether it was actually really what people wanted because our phones are amazing. They take great photos. The younger generation have grown up using using phones, so they know they're, and they're satisfied with the photos they take. Uh, but that was what was holding me back was, do people really want this? So that's why I've started doing the in-person workshops so I can get out there and actually meet people and and learn what it is that they need. And and then that's how I've that's how I've met people in the tourism industry and working with them now and other industry bodies. So just not sure whether it was actually what people wanted was what held me back in my comfort zone. I'm always, I need to keep pushing myself out of my comfort zone, which is, yeah, that's opened up opportunities. That has. And I love it. I said, do you want to give something new a go? I've never done it before. So we've both kind of jumped off the cliff this morning and said, yeah, let's do it. What's the worst thing that can happen? Well, the worst that could happen is that it doesn't record, hey? <laughs> we have to do it all again. Uh, what's the best advice you've ever received? Uh, best advice, I think, is be transparent. Um, I think because a lot of us and, well, old school people like... Um, yeah, we kind of are a bit guarded about our businesses and what we do, especially mobile photography. It's one of those things that everybody has a phone. Why am I better than somebody else who's out there doing that? But I've come to realise that if you be transparent with other business owners, they're not going to pinch your idea. And if they do, they're not going to have the same passion. They're not going to have the same knowledge and that sort of thing. And if anything else, if somebody does pinch the idea and they go run uh, mobile photography workshops... That's fantastic. That's that's spreading the word. That's making it more accessible. That's letting people know that, hey, this is a viable, feasible thing to take photos with. So, yeah, transparency, I think, is, yeah. Yeah, especially if you're going to do collaboration work, it needs to be transparent. Yeah. Mike is talking and I'm like, it's like I'm listening to a symphony orchestra here. He's just, this music to my ears. And our initial exchange was like, oh, my brother from another mother. It was... Um, yeah, I really resonate with everything you're sharing with us. Thank you so much. If you could, if you may, share a personal habit with us that contributes to your success, something that you do really well that you couldn't go without. Uh, it'd have to be podcasts. I love podcasts. <laughs> it's car university for me because I commute to Melbourne regularly and it, for me it's a three-hour round trip and instead of listening to the radio and listening to you know, the doom and gloom of what's going on in the news. I just listen to the podcast and it's one of the things I need to be learning. I love learning and podcast is an easy way to consume it. And I take my notes. I use Siri. I'll pause the podcast and I'll ask Siri to take a note and whatever I've learned, I'll say it. And she's, and she's so polite too. <laughs> she takes a note. <laughs> so, yeah, podcasts are fantastic. They are, yeah. Well, that leads into my next question of sharing an internet source that really helps you. Is there anything like an app or apart from Siri uh, that you use that really helps you in your mobile business? Yeah, uh, as I said, I'm now an advocate of everything mobile. And one of the things that I like everything that's that's on the cloud, uh, desk-based, a fantastic uh, app that I found recently or have uh, introduced to me is called... uh, Loom it is. Loom is fantastic. It's a Chrome extension and it's a screen capture. So you can actually turn on your webcam or your front-facing camera, have a little circle with you down there and you can record things. So you can do anything on your computer and it'll record. It's just screencasting, but it's free. It is, so it's fantastic and it's so simple. Once you finish recording, it automatically creates a MPEG-4 and you can send a link to someone. It's just so quick and, and simple and easy. It is. Loom. L-O-O-M. Check that one out Uh, book that you could recommend what's your favourite book that's created a change or inspired you Uh, there's a book by David Jennings which is uh, authority content and what I love about his book is it demystifies social media and content and I know for myself when I first started I was because I'm so passionate about it, I was, I've got all this content, 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 content. And I was putting it out there without real strategy. <laughs> and, and I know you've mentioned this before. <laughs> That's me, classic example. And what he does is, is he explains to you in his book that do a big item, do, a, do an event or something like that, capture it and then break it down and then break it down and you repurpose the content. So for me, that was a real eye-opener. 
and I attended his book launch and it was just fantastic to meet him in person and, and actually yeah, get an insight into all this because it's so time consuming and for, for us in the tourism or servicing the tourism industry, content is key, especially visuals because we, there's been a, that huge global shift from destination tourism to experiential tourism and nothing does it better than visuals and and or, and video i know i'm better mobile photos but i'm a huge advocate for video as well because photos is a real art form to communicating something in a still image but video you can provide that narrative and it's time consuming video is time consuming that's why i like loom it's nice and quick simple and when you repurpose that from a video you can then turn it into photos you can turn it into a youtube tutorial you can turn it into you can break it down further and turn it into facebook posts instagram posts so yeah, that's why I like that book. It really made it, it broke it down for me and explained to me the process, the hierarchy of content. Excellent. We'll add those in. I'll share these little notes in, in the notes of the podcast where this will be released. I'll share little uh, all the, the tips, the gold tips that Mike's sharing with us today. Mike, tell us now, there's a, a we've, in our businesses, we talk a lot about what we do and like that famous uh, uh, Simon Sinek TED Talk. If you haven't seen that, please get on Google and just um, starting with why is the talk. Um, I'd love to know what's your big why for doing what you do? Yeah, the, the why question is one that I know that everybody needs to have uh, or should have. And for me, I, I did have one, but I didn't tell people about it because it's just, I was a little bit uncomfortable sharing it. But I've had many people now telling me that I need to need to uh, tell people so now I, I do whenever I'm running workshops I, I tell this story because it affects everybody as I mentioned I had the latest and greatest camera equipment and only brought it out on special occasions and because of that I missed out on opportunities to take photos and my mum passed away a couple of years ago afterwards I realized that I had very few photos of her and I had no video at all of her and I've mentioned that video is fantastic because it provides narrative but video also provides memories it does and so that's one of my biggest regrets is that I didn't pick up mobile photography sooner and if I had of then maybe I'd have more photos of my mum because the last few years she was quite sick and she and she had like most of us she's got a camera phobia and the thought of me bringing out this big camera she's just horrified and so out of respect to her I wouldn't I didn't do it if I had a mobile phone I was taking photos with the mobile phone she would have been a lot more comfortable with it I'd have those memories and and I could have taken photos without her even really noticing like just and if I had if I had been an earlier adopter of the mobile phone then it would have been part of my everyday life and she would have been comfortable because I would have always had it with me always taking photos of the kids so there's two messages when I'm running when I get an opportunity to speak to people is that that take photos of your loved ones with your, with your phone, get out there and do it. They don't have to be perfect photos. It's all about the, the, capturing those, those stories, those moments, experiences, all that sort of thing. But also get in front of the camera as well because f- for us over 35s year olds, we, we, kind of, we, we, look, we frown upon people that take all these selfies and think, oh, that's so vain, that's so narcissistic and all that. But the reality is we've got hundreds of photos of our own kids, grandkids, if you have a look, you won't. You'll see that you don't actually have as many photos of yourself. So, we need to get over that. We need to get out, get out there and take photos of ourselves for our loved ones. So when we move on, our memory will, will live on. And and yeah. So that's that's my message to try and get out there. Thank you. That is a why to share with the uh, with the world. And uh, thank you for sharing that with us, Mike. I guess your parting piece on what you can share with our other experience makers and uh, where we can best connect with you yeah great well like i said uh visuals is key is key and for, for tourism operators if you're struggling to get out there and take the photos user generated content is just fabulous one of the problems though with user generated content can sometimes be is you don't have control of the quality of those images coming through so that free uh, course that I've, that I've got on my website, that's a way that you can get out there and, and help your customers improve their photos and give them a, an, an add-on value. But also, parting piece of advice is, yeah, visuals. And with the visuals, you're trying to communicate a story. You are. You're not just taking a snap and recording the scene at the moment. You're actually trying to tell your, your clients, your prospective customers, this is what we are, this is, this is what we do. Show them the behind the scenes. If you're, if you're in a cafe, don't just take photos of the food. 
take photos of the venue, the ambience, the staff, the behind the scenes, even the food being delivered. Like, show them the whole lot. That's, yeah, so give them an insight. Let them tr- get to know you, trust you, and, yeah, it'll put you in a good position. Love it. Where can we find out more about you, Mike? Yeah, great. So the website is bettermobilephotos.com.au and I'm also on Instagram and Facebook at bettermobilephotos. And the email, I answer all my emails and love hearing from people. It's mike at bettermobilephotos.com.au. Wonderful. And finish us strong, Mike. What is your favourite quote of all time? I think this one encapsulates what I do and what I'm about. It's by Lucas Gentry and it's photography has nothing to do with cameras. Because it's, it's not, uh, with my workshops, I turn up using an iPhone 5. Because a lot of people say, you know, I don't have the latest and greatest. But it, I love that quote because it's nothing to do with the camera. It's about actually telling that story. It is. Yeah. I'm floored by that one. <laughs> I love it. Oh, keep spreading your light and excellence and gift that you have, Mike. It's been such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for sharing your uh, your journey. And bettermobilephotos.com.au is where you can find out all you need to find out about creating better visuals for your business, your device that you carry around 24-7. Thank you so much, Mike. Great. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, For any comments, please share. I would love to hear from you. If you'd like to be a guest on Tourism Hub, please head over to instituteofexcellence.com and send us a line. Uh, Otherwise, here is to your excellence today and every single day. Big love and gratitude for being here. Bye for now. Relax.